Your destination is located on the right. I had uh, just had seven days put in for me, and and then got to the well, obviously the week later, had a chat. Oh, yeah! <laughs> 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 That's an inside club. <laughs> 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 and welcome to Okay, welcome to Bromley Arena, um, which is the home of Bromley Football Club. Um, this is just the beginning of what is going to be a fantastic entertainment event and sports hub up the driveway. Uh, it's going to start with the most fantastic uh, new looking entrance. All this is going to come down on both sides. We have a new signage with Bromley Arena incorporating all the component parts which we'll talk about in a minute. More, more importantly this Saturday, three points against Gosport Borough, that's what we need. Okay so here we've cut back, we're going to be cutting back even more on both sides making this a safe driveway. At the moment too many cars are coming up in too fast and it's dangerous. So this will be cut back further, there'll be a pedestrianised uh, walkway up here a nice garden centre style display over there. Double yellow lines all the way along. So we're going to make this really safe. All, and also make it look beautiful as well. We are a football club, we understand that, but we want the entrance to become so much more classy. Maybe create a nice country club feel to it. Maybe some box hedging like Nuffield have. Twinned all the way down, make it look really nice. When people turn up, they feel like they're turning up to a really top-end uh, arena, which is the home of Bromley Football Club. Okay, the car park is going to be tidied up a little bit, maybe rearranged slightly. Uh, all this crime scene investigation tape <laughs> is going to go, don't worry, it's only temporary. But it's going to look absolutely beautiful when it's all finished. So, as we approach, in fact, come over to me, Tim. As we approach, we'll come towards the turnstiles. In time, we'll get all this looking more uniform. At the moment, the venue's looking tidy, looking smart. Night, night, so it's all lit up. But we're letting ourselves down a bit with this bar. So, let's have a look. The outside of the bar is all going to have really nice thick um, uh, cladding, feather cladding, all the way down. Nice and cream, hanging baskets, spots. Double door at the front, come on in. So this is going to be Raven's Bar and Grill. Okay, so what we've got here is the, uh, let's start this way. Double doors now going up into the venue. Food service counter here, serving the five booths along here. So one, two, three, four, five. Each booth is going to have its own plasma TV, an Xbox and PlayStation. 
Over here, the table's here. So ribs, burgers, beautiful. Coming through. Okay, so through here is going to be the new washroom facilities. So disabled, men's, ladies, maybe not that particular order. Come and see a man just in one of the toilets right now. How you doing? Okay. So as we come back out, mind that Tim. So here we have a stage. Stage for live performances, a DJ booth. And coming through here, posing tables, seats. And across here we're punching through the wall. And it's going to be a window with a bar store and a ledge. So you can have your burgers and the chips and the ribs and whatever you fancy on here. And there's an air charge bar, which means that if you've got an iPhone, you just lay your iPhone on top and it charges it without plugging it in. It's called air charge. We put a lot of money into a technology system to give you that facility. Also, air charge can be on the booth as well. Along here, we're going to have a new bar. So for those of you, like me, who likes a little pipe from time to time, come to your seat, come up here. Nice new backdrop with uh, all the new latest beers and ales. Really exciting. This is going to be the most exciting American diner style pub restaurant. Call it what you will. But after the game, we won't be coming in here for an hour. We'll be staying here until 10, 11 o'clock. Now this new in business. No one's going to go to the new in. They'll be staying here. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Okay, we're going to get Nigel on film in a minute. <laughs> I, bet you, I bet you love it as well. Okay, that's left. This guy's a superstar, but don't upset him because he's holding a jet wash. So come through. You all know what's happening up here. The venue, nothing's changed. It's already perfect. It's already beautiful. We're now coming to the marquee, which... Oh, actually, let me just say one thing. This here... Club shop sponsored by Jim Brown for many, many years. Done a fantastic job. We're going to take his hard work, his good work, and move it right in front of the turnstiles. We've got a double story modular building coming, ground floor, new club shop, kitted out with all the latest Nike kit. It's going to be amazing. Second floor are going to be offices. Now, what this means is here, this is going to be a new serving hatch for some chips or jacket potatoes or some homemade soups during the game, served here. It actually, actually was what it was originally intended for. Marquee kids parties are happening here. Inside the marquee, we're going to be hiring a space out for daytime events only. Match days is fine, we can use it for the match day hospitality, but uh, going forward as a commercial business venture, the marquee is going to be used for a dry hire for anybody for any occasion, be it book sale, antiques and crafts, uh, wine tasting, whatever you know, we can have it out of here. On match days, of course, maybe on Sunday, Palace, they'll be eating over here, and kids' parties can have their parties here. But you see, we've got a 100-foot space in the marquee. Reception at the top end, catering uh, at the back end, behind the curtains here. Um, and this is a basically a multifunctional marquee for any occasion. And again, this is going to be a commercial venture which will drive what we're doing on the pitch. So now as we come out, we're walking up towards the existing uh, two five-a-side pitches which we know uh, sell out regularly. That's all being boxed in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, the two five-a-sides. We've got designs for something over here, which I can't announce yet, but it's really, really exciting. It will bring in thousands and thousands of kids every year. Over here, I think we can do something in space, maybe a skills soccer, uh, skill soccer zone, maybe goalkeeping zone. Hold on one second. Ian, can I call you back, please, mate? I'll just, uh, in the middle of something. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks, mate. Sorry about that, how rude of me. My wife always tells me off for doing that. So. Any ideas you've got for that pitch, come forward and let me know, or let Jeff know. Uh, yep, that's that. So, coming over here, the experience will be, you walk down here, all this is landscaped, there'll be a bridge over onto the road, which will come through, and then you'll walk along, 
and that's where your grand entrance is to the Bromley Soccer Centre. Walk through there and there you've got the most magnificent new 4G facility. Full size 11 a side and a massive super size 7 a side. That's going to be our training facilities for our first team. So throughout the winter and the bad months, we'll have great floodlit facilities there for our boys to train Tuesdays and Thursdays. Guaranteed. Good. Well, who says size isn't important? Not me. Look at this. We are standing on the centre spot of the new full size uh, 4G here at the Bromley Soccer Centre, part of the Bromley Arena. If you look around, we've got amazing facilities uh, in development. In about two or three weeks' time, this will all be done. Uh, this 11 a size can be split up into three thirds, um, about 60 by 30 in diameter. Um, new changing facilities over in the corner uh, with reception and new classrooms for the community scheme. So this is going to be where the first team are going to be training starting from the 1st of October. Really excited. This is what we need uh, and we've needed for a long time and we've now got what we wanted. A great facility for training and, uh, and for bringing in more business off the pitch to drive what goes on on the pitch. Okay, so come with me. We're now on the junior pitch, which is like a, a super-sized seven-a-side, or perhaps a smidge short of a, of a nine-a-side. This will be split into two halves, um, dedicated primarily for play football, who are gonna operate leagues and tournaments on this pitch. Uh, again, they're the uh, change facilities through their reception. Nice entrance coming through there. Uh, all the guests or players will be coming down through the uh, Bromley Arena, through the first team pitch to the left, through here, viewing gallery over there, viewing gallery over there, looking down, seeing the action happening on a pitch. Again, a great facility, much needed, really excited. I'm standing on the prestigious centre circle of the Field of Dreams here at the Fortress Stadium. Uh, Bromley Football Club and I couldn't be more excited about the prospects of tomorrow's game against Gosport Borough. So this is where it's all going to take place. I think fingers crossed we're looking for a pretty decent day weather-wise. We've got uh, a lot going on. We've got a family fun day as we know. I won't bore everyone about that. You know how passionate I am about family fun days and kids and kids come free and all that sort of stuff. And I won't mention the gammon, eggs and chips or, or, or pineapple. I promise you I won't mention that <laughs> anymore. Uh, it's all about three points. It's all about what we do on the pitch. And uh, I think we've, we've had a pretty decent start. We've still got a lot to do and it's a long season, but uh, certainly tomorrow we're at home. As I said earlier, we haven't won at home on a Saturday uh, yet in the league. So tomorrow's a big day. Fingers crossed we can do the business.